Okay, so I thought I'd just do a short video on uh, what's on my phone. Initially, this was meant to be, um, you know, how to customize your Android phone video, but some of the apps that I use are a bit um, complicated, not that user friendly. And I didn't think they would appeal to um, a broad majority of people. So instead of that, I thought I would do a video on apps that I use on my Android phone. I do intend for this video to or for this to be a series. I, I probably will do it in a uh, on a monthly basis. So for now, um, I just want to show you some of the Android apps I found recently that I enjoy. First and foremost, the most important one is this one, Apps Free. So this basically is an app that shows you apps on the Play Store that are an offer. So they're either completely free, they usually paid apps, that either completely free or are heavily discounted at the moment. So you can see here, there are quite a couple of apps. If you see this fire sign at the uh, top right, corner of an app that means it's an app that is um highly rated and people usually download it a lot so you can find quite a few apps this is a paid app that is usually about one dollar this um samsung ux s9 icon pack if you're into icon packs you can download that it's free now uh, you can see quite a few apps there, especially for icon packs. I think it's, it's a very good app. Look at this icon pack. This is a very nice looking icon pack. You can have, um, actually, let me just download this. You can have um, a black and white theme going for your icon packs and you decide that you want to download it. So this is usually what, 200 shillings, but right now it's completely free and it will always be free. Once you've downloaded a paid app on the, apps, on the uh, Play Store, it will always be free for for you as long as you use the same google account that you use to download the app it'll always be free so there so you know there are games like this Evertel uh is free right now icon packs all of that and i think personally that it is one of the best apps you can get on your android phone i just want to check this out a bit okay so this is an app that seems to give you more control over your uh microphone and your camera if you're um if you're a bit antsy about the idea of this apps having access to your camera and your microphone even when you know you've left the app there in the background i think if you install this um you can block you know you can have better control over your what the various apps on your phone can access at the moment from that i think we'll go to this is um camera fx it's usually a paid app and i got it from um apps free it's not uh free right now but it's honestly the best camera app i've used for android for video and it's what i actually use to film my youtube videos so it dynamically changes the ISO, the shutter speed, um, the focus, all of that. It does that automatically. And for quality of video, even in comparison to the stock camera app that came with this phone, it is way better. It has a lot of controls here. You can see you can change the video resolution. Um, you know, if you want to shoot your video in 4K, 16 by 9, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you want to shoot it in uh, 1440p, 4 by 3 aspect ratio. If you want to shoot it in full HD, which I have decided I am going to be shooting my videos in going forward because just uh, my uh, computer doesn't seem to be able to do very well when I'm editing in 4K. So all these controls, it's all there. It has, you know, you can change the bitrate, you can leave it to default, you can um, shut off the microphone so that you record without, you know, sound. 
there is a lot there's a lot there's a timer of course there's hdr though that that doesn't work for video uh there's you can change the the flash to automatic or always on or off um they're crazy crazy controls this is a location you can enable location so this is one of the best apps i've gotten from apps free and i use it obviously i use it uh, a lot more often now than i would have probably used it in the past because i'm filming and i think you should get it next time you should watch out you should get out and you watch out for it next time it's free grab it as soon as you can before uh the offer expires so another app that i use at the moment is image converter i think it's made by a ugandan developer which obviously makes me way more willing to even spend money on it this one i actually paid for it was just about 200 shillings on the play store and basically if you have files that are um are in a specific format that you want to change maybe your phone can read them or whatever you have can read that specific format you just put them in this app and for example if i decide to use this uh you can see this is hi h-e-i-c which is uh the iphone format if you take pictures of your iphone so if i want to change this i just do that and it has such a wide selection you can change to any of this picture formats and you can change it to let's say i want to change it to a png and i go and i say i want it to maintain the same quality it had when it was in hayek i think that's how you say it um you can you know you can convert it on the app or over the internet it tells you the internet is usually faster and then there is this uh where to save it so if you do that yes it'll upload the file to the internet it's uploaded now it's converting it to png it's downloading it from the internet after it's been converted and done you see very convenient now my next app my next app that i want you to check out is this line bit it's an icon pack i know i paid for this i, I just find it really really attractive you can see a sh small showcase obviously what's on my home my uh app drawer before is um uh this line bit icon pack i i'm not sure exactly how much i paid for it between 200 to 300 shillings and i don't know i just it makes me feel really happy when i just go to my um the app drawer you see you can see the icon pack and i just like it personally i didn't want to see the labels i felt they were making the screen a bit cramped i know i have a lot of apps and that is probably what actually makes it look cramped but i don't like the labels being there but i think i think this is one of the best looking android icon packs you can find and finally the last app i want to talk about is polar so i use a google camera the a gcam app for photos i think personally for photos it's the best out there so what i usually do with um polar is my gcam photos often come out looking a bit washed out so i use it to edit my gcam photos to make it look much better so for example you can increase the exposure like that you know and it shows here the amount it's gone to 34 makes it so much easier to use it especially when you when you can slide this slider and everything else just um get out of your way in the screen so you don't have to worry about you know if you're using a small screen you don't have to worry about accidentally shifting the brightness slider while you're shifting the exposure slider you can change everything and if you don't like it you just cancel nothing takes there are overlays there's a retouch button that look at that look at the range of this app look at that it's a very very powerful app and it this is free it has a paid version but you don't have to pay uh, the paid version obviously gives you more options but personally i think if you're just taking snapping a quick picture and you want to post it on instagram and you just want to edit it a bit um i think that polar is very good for that it's quite easy to use i don't know if they have a desktop version but it's quite easy to use on your phone 
and i think this is one of the android phones android apps you should get on your phone okay so that is the end of my video and i hope that you enjoy that tell me if any of you downloads these apps you can uh, comment in the comment section and tell me what you think of them if you think you know they're worth using if you've enjoyed the experience with them and uh, we'll see you all in the next video